Hello and welcome back to Provis Gaming and RuneScape 3. So, the Legends quest is done and out of the way. And again, I do apologize for uh, losing some of that content, but it really was completely out of my control. Anyways, who? Uh, we get to move on now, finally, with the uh, the Myrique quest, the Branches of Darkmire. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little disclaimer right now. My voice um, is a little shot right now. Uh, there's there's something going on. I've caught some sort of bug, and uh, it's kind of taking all I can to have... Um, taking everything that's in me, pretty much, to just talk to you guys right now. So, I'm going to continue to do my darndest and make sure that I do the voices and whatever else. But if it's not excellent today... Then please don't sue me. I, I do I do the best that I can. I honestly shouldn't be recording at all, but I do try to maintain at least some semblance of consistency on this channel. I try to get a quest out to you guys every week if I can. So, you know, if I if I end up like starting this quest and then I don't finish it this week, it means that I tried and my voice gave out, and I'll have to try again later. So, we'll see how that works out. Anyway, to start off the branches of Darkmire, we're gonna talk to Veliev. Hurts. It hurts me every time I have to talk to you, Veliev, because it never means anything good for me, does it? No, not at all. Norik Provis, you're back. Thanks, Seredomen. What's wrong? We need your help. It's Vanstrom and the Firewatch. Every day they become stronger, and we become weaker. What are you to do, Norik Provis? Calm down, Veliev. What's going on? I apologize. It's just things have become so grave. Our town of Berderot is at risk of attack at any moment. Our old enemy, Vanstrom Klaus, has been given the sole responsibility of destroying the entirety of the Marik. He has been seen around our borders, even on our very own land. The Virewatch have been picking off our citizens, snatching them from the village itself, and our supply lines to Meyer Ditch have been cut. I can barely keep the Myrik's morale up, let alone the citizens. The Firewatch have been in Berderot. I'm afraid so. I suppose we were stupid to think we would be unnoticed forever. So far they have taken five. Just last week, they took poor Marius from his bed and his wife sleeping beside him. What they left behind. It was unbearable. Why do you think they're taking them? Ugh, no, I promise you know as well as I do. We stood up to the vampires, and of course they must stamp us down. They will return more viciously until we or they are destroyed. What happened to the supply lines? We used to run supplies to the Myrik in Meyerditch, so they could keep themselves and the community going. It wasn't much, but at least it was something. However, our last runners never returned. One from Sathalon says they never reached there either. We cannot risk sending more now. It will be a waste of precious few lives we have here. Is there anything I can do to help? Yay! I gotta accept the- ow, oh, that kinda hurt. I'm not gonna do that again. Maybe I will. I'll forget, and then I'll do it. And then I will regret it. Ah, old friend. Always eager to provide assistance. I cannot thank you enough. There is one thing you could do, but I feel terrible for asking. What is it? A few days ago, Cornelius came running up to me. He told me he had woken in the night to see a shadowy figure digging in the soil just south of his bank. The figure unearthed the entrance to something underground. No one has ventured to see what has been discovered. It is far too dangerous, but we must explore it. We cannot just let it stay here. He must be up to something. Who? Norik Provis. Cornelius believes that a shadowy figure was Vanstrom. If this is true, right now he may be closer to our town than ever. Perhaps even beneath our very feet. Oh, this is one of those moments where there's got to be a cutscene, cut and all these arms are going to go popping out of the ground like daisies. Ow, why am I doing this? I am not very smart. You must enter the cave and face him. It is the only way we can defend ourselves. Okay, I'll go. Brave as ever, Norik Provis. I am proud to have you with us. Please be very careful. Vanstrom is extremely dangerous. I do not want to lose you too. I will be. Wish me luck. Okay, so one of the things I'm really looking forward to, the, to with this quest, as opposed to, oh, I don't know, the Legacy of Seer Gaze, which is one of the worst quests I have ever done, 
But this, in theory, is supposed to be a really fun quest. At least so I have been told. This one is supposed to be really fun. I'm hoping not to hype it up too much, just in case it sucks. But, uh, you know, you guys have never led me wrong. Usually. Usually. My viewers, when they tell me, hey, this is a really good quest, they're not usually wrong. Usually they're absolutely, what the hell is this? This is not what I was expecting. I was expecting some sort of little cave. It's all like, hey, cool, I'm a vampire, and I've been, I've been tunneling. I am a vampire, and I'm digging a hole. That's what I was expecting, and this is far better than a hole. There is a letter on the ground. I have not, I have not lost sight of that, so let's take a look-see. An unsealed letter. Also, a coffin. Well, with a blood symbol and a coffin, it's not a good sign. But yes, I want to inspect it, because I'm cool like that. Whoa! Okay. I'm unable to open the coffin without spilling a small amount of blood. Well, what happened? I got something. A mysterious medallion. Well, first of all, let's read the letter. Saffalin Hollow, I have desired to speak with you for so long. You may not know me, but I have been following you with great interest. That's creepy. I'll get straight to the point, for there is little time. I knew your parents. I was very close to them and to you as a child. Centuries ago... How old is Safalan? I know you must feel different. There's some part of your history that is missing to you. I can give you the answers you seek. I can tell you why I've lived for so long, why you have these unexplained powers, why you've been living these visions. Of course, though, life is good now. I am just like the rest of us, struggling to survive in this place. I'll be in Sector 4. Please meet me in the clearing in the center. I have much to tell you. V. V for Vanstrom. <laughs> no. No, probably not. Um, Okay. So, I don't know what this medallion does. It says teleport. Do I want to use it? You know what? YOLO. Click it. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have a teleport directly to Meyer Ditch. Do you know how happy that makes me? Really happy. Like, really happy. Oh. Oh, yes. Can I please tell me that this medallion is going to let me skip all the darn traveling through Meyer Ditch? Finally! Thank God! You know, that's something they've desperately needed in my Reek quest series and in uh, Mauritania in general, so... If that is what I think it is, I'm now a very happy panda. Very happy panda. Alright, Veliev. Found some stuff. Norik Provis, are you okay? Did you find anything? I'm fine. The cave was empty, but it seems to have been inhabited, at least a long time ago. I found a medallion. Show him... Norik Provis, be very careful with that. Why? That symbol. It is the symbol of Draken. This must be a vampiric origin. Awesome! That makes it cool, right? I'm keeping this thing forever. Perhaps Vanstrom put it there. Maybe. But it is so dusty and looks so old. Either it was there for centuries, or Vanstrom went to a lot of effort to make it seem that way. Both are possible, I suppose. Do you want to take it? No, Norik Provis. I would not have that evil here. Take it away. I also found a letter. This paper is far too clean to have been in a cave for years. It must have been planted by Vanstrom and addressed to Safalan. He does not refer to himself as Vanstrom. Even going so far as to masquerade as a minor ditch citizen. Perhaps by noticing and enter the cave, we have foiled his plans to remain hidden in this. What do you suppose he wants? I cannot say. This seems far too intricate, far too subtle for him. I expected him to launch a full-scale attack, not set us on a treasure trail. What do you suggest we do now? The letter is addressed to Safalan. This may be Vanstrom's plan, but I think you should take it to him. He should be involved. It may be unsafe to enter Meyer Ditch the usual way. Drezzle sent a teletab to us a while ago. I was saving it for an emergency, but this is as good a time as any. I can use it to send you straight away to Safalan. Yes, please send me. Oh my god, you've had teletabs this whole time? Ow, damn it. I'll warn you, not I promise. Safalan has not been himself lately. He seems preoccupied, but perhaps this will just be what he needs to focus once again. You know, <clears throat> if you had listened to me the first time, Veliev, last quest when I tried to tell you that he went like flying in the air and exploded and scared away the Vire Watch, you didn't believe me. You're all like, oh, it must be so, it's so fantastic it must be made up. Well, had you listened to me, this will all make more sense. Good luck. Screw you, Veliev. 
Oh wait, Teletab. Thank you, Velia, if I like you again. Temporarily. I like you temporarily. I won't kill you. For now. I make no promises in the future, though. Because, you know, who the heck are you? Magritus Ahara. I actually don't know. Bertita, uh, Safalan, tall guy himself. The tall man. What's up? Norik Provis. How did you get here? What do you mean? Our supply runners. They haven't been making it here from Berderot. The vampires must have tightened their grip again. I've got a letter for you. For me? Where did this come from? Veli have sent me to search a cave they recently discovered in Berderot. We believe Vanstrom had been there, and he may have planted it. Yes, I knew about the cave, but Vanstrom, you say? That's scum. Let me see. Let's see here. Oh, he gasped. Wow, animations. Special animations just for this quest? Okay. What do you think? It is unlike him. What could he possibly want from... this? You say you're sure it was Vanstrom? Well, no. Cornelius in Bird of Rot said he saw a shadowy figure who he thought was Vanstrom. I see. I'm not sure what to make of this, Norik Provis. The writer says they knew me centuries ago. And they speak about my parents. My experiences. And how could they know about my visions? Did you find anything else in that cave? Yes, I found a medallion. Well, you've said the symbol on it is the symbol of Draken. How strange. This feels very familiar. May I? Okay, what you doing, my glowy? It's it's glowing now, so that's gotta be a good sign. What did you do? I believe I changed one of its destinations to bring you here. Oh, okay, oh gosh, please don't, I can't, can't make ha happy noise. Can't do that. Happy noises? Happy squeals? Just imagined that, you know, um, I was actually going to say something rather crude about my balls not having dropped yet, but ignore me. But this is vampiric. How did you know to do that? I do not know, Norik Provis. So many things remain unexplained to me recently. Please, take this thing away from me. What do you think we should do? I cannot ignore the claims in this letter. I will have to meet him. Even if this is Vanstrom, he knows something. He must have put it there for a reason. If Vanstrom was truly after Berderot, he would have just attacked. But what if he's not after Berderot? What if he's after you? It could be a trap. It's a trap! Yes, that is more than likely. You're right. We cannot give him what he wants. I must stay here. But we must find out what is going on. Norik Provis, will you go in my place? Somehow, you know what, Safalan? I kind of had the feeling you were going to ask. But you enchanted the medallion, which means I'm feeling pretty good about that. So I don't mind. Also, what the heck happened to Kale? Why is he covered? Is he covered in white paint? Oh, so he looks like one of the bloodless guys up above. Clever. Of course. I got sidetracked, Safalan. Don't mind me. It's fine. Not a big deal. Thank you, Norik Provis. I will send Vertida and Mecritus with you, in case you run into trouble. Yeah, they were bloody help last time, weren't they? From the sounds of it, Landstrom wants to meet in the clearing just west of the base. You should head to an overlooking window to the north of the clearing before you meet with this person. They could be very dangerous. I have written the directions in your journal if you become lost. Got it. Be careful, Norik Provis. Yeah, we'll be careful, very careful. Quick, go, charge, charge, run directly into danger. Danger, Will Robinson, it doesn't even matter, we're doing it. Freaking doing it. All right. So, I need to find a way to get, um, I need to find a way to get up there. And I don't know where he said we're going. He said directly west of the base, is there a clearing? Wait, flip my map around. Well, there's a fire, watch. Don't want to do that. Maybe it's over here? Maybe it's... Oh, wait! Oh, there's a handy-dandy little thingy dingy! Okay, I'm gonna get over there, and I'll be right back. Uh... Oh, crap. Well, this was not what I was expecting. Hi! Oh, dear. Ah, a fresh meat bag. In here, no one will see if we take more than a tithe. Wait! 
What is it? I'm hungry. This is the one. We must leave it. This one? No wonder. Look how fresh it is. Full of blood. At least we know it'll have a worse time with her. Leave me for what? Who is her? I'm actually kind of curious now too, because this just changed everything. That doesn't bode well. Yeah, no freak. No, no kidding. No kidding. Nor promise. Guy's got a good IQ right there. All right, jump over this wall here. We're almost there, so I feel like I can probably continue. Uh, come on, talk. Jump. Jump. Nope, maybe not. Okay. Wait, maybe? Oh, there we go. Strange. Usually I have to click on the opposite side in order to get across, but that doesn't even matter. Okay. So who is her? And the Vire Watcher definitely okay with whatever's going on, so this must not be safe. But we're going to try it anyway. Can I get directly there from here? Okay, nope. Crap. What did I just do? I thought I opened the door. What if I go through the door? Close the door. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Door physics. Door puzzles. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Where am I going? Long about route? Okay. Apparently I don't know how to run diagonally. That's okay. Diagon Alley. So. Where are we and what are we doing? It's a Meyer Ditch citizen. Do we just talk to him? I see I see my friend Vertida. So Huh. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here. How's everything? Not too bad. You know about the Myreek? No. Let's go through the door and try talking to Vertida and see what he's got here. Norik, Provis, you're here! Mekritess is upstairs. You can climb up the wall here. I'll keep watch. Oh, right, I'm supposed to- I'm supposed to be keeping an eye from a window. I forgot. Okay. Well, we'll just very sneakily climb up in my extremely clunky Bandos armor. Stuff is stealthy. Stealthy as heck. You never believe it. With all those extra beautiful pauldrons. All right, Mecritus, there's also a stand lookout point. Well, that's- you know what? Forget what Mecritus has to say. This seems like what we want to do, so let's do it. I love cutscenes. Makes me feel pretty good about what's going on. Uh, he's going to die, isn't he? It's a sneak attack. No. Also, why aren't they using flails? They're supposed... What the heck? Nessie. A little girl named Nessie. It is definitely a trap. I should get down there and see if she's okay. It's a trap! Can you not tell? Oh my gosh. Like I said, this guy... Man, what what a what an incredible what an incredible brain he has. Holy crap, Nessie's level 424! Oh my god! She could knock me out with a sneeze! Um Hello? I saw you in the window, Norik Provis. Why did it take so long for you to come see me? The Via Watch could have got me, you know. How do you know my name? Norik Provis, the great hero of the Myreek. Who doesn't know your name? I'm so glad you're here. What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm lost. A scary vampire told me to stay here. Vanstrom. Yes, that's what he said his name was. Do you know him? Unfortunately. He's the worst vampire besides Draken. <laughs> oh, you are funny, Norik Provis. The worst vampire, you say? Perhaps. But his power is nothing compared to mine. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! It's a Draken daughter. It's Vanaskula! Quickly, Nordic Provis, attack! We're with you! I mean, okay. It's not gonna work. Yep, nope, that was a bad idea. Okay. Seductive, seductive vampire lady is here. She's level 424. I surrender. My give up. My give up. Don't even want to play this game no more. Actually, before we continue, this is probably a good place to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with, uh, with this uh, Branches of Darkmire Master Quest. So, we're about to have some friendly conversations with a, uh, with, a, with a vampire. Hope you'll join me for next time. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you then.